Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. So today, not only is it Friday and it's sunny here in Reykjavik, it's actually eight degrees, but today we're heading out of the city and we're going away for the weekend. We have been invited by the lovely people at Any Apartments in Quedigeri to stay with them in an apartment in their beautiful Scandinavian, Icelandic chic apartments, really very hoogie kind of style. We've been invited to stay there for the weekend they have a hot tub which I'm super excited about because the pools have been closed for like six weeks now we don't have a bath in the apartment they also have a bath in the apartments we're staying in and I just can't wait to get out of the city and have a little bit of a sort of staycation isolation staycation so we're about to go and pick up Mia from Dagmama Ingemar is just picking up the last few things we have a car stuffed full and we're ready to hit the road. Good afternoon. Welcome to your holiday, Mia. So we've just arrived and this is us, number three. I'm gonna try and do the keypad and get us inside. If I can even open it. In we go. I'm so excited. Oh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous. Look at that fire. <gasps> A cozy big bed and there's Mia's bed. Take her shoes off. Oh, this is gorgeous, isn't it, Mia? What do you think? Your new home for the weekend. So we've just arrived. I'm going to show you around the apartment because it's gorgeous. Welcome to our home for the weekend. We've already kind of made ourselves at home. Mia has found her high chair so she's happy. She's got some snacks and is getting used to her new home. We've got a huge sitting room with a gorgeous fire. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? And then it opens to your kitchen area here. I love the open shelving, but we've got an oven, a fridge, hob and everything, coffee machine. And then we come around this side. So behind the fireplace is the bed, lovely big bed for us. And then beside we've got Mia's little bed. How cool is that? So cute. They've got a little duvet and everything for her. Very Icelandic. We've got some robes. That's going to be so nice because this is what we're all going to be fighting over. A lovely big bathtub. Look at the size of this. Maybe have a family bath if we can. And then through here is the bathroom. So this is the bathroom. We've got a sink, loads of towels because there is a hot tub, a big mirror here, and then it opens out to this massive big shower. Look at the size of the shower. Oh, it's going to be so nice. <laughs> Cuteness factor. Look at the size of these. <laughs> They're so adorable. Watch out for this little speed racer girl. Yeah. Woo. No trousers, Mia. <laughs> Mia's going to have a little snack. She's quite happy there. And we are going to try and figure out how the espresso machine works. So we made these coffees and we don't even have any milk. So, cheers. Hmm, actually that's quite nice. No milk. Who'd have thought it? Should we play with the toys? Or should we get ready to go in the hot tub? Here in Iceland, a lot of people take their kids into the hot tub, so don't freak out in the comments below. Um, 
but yeah, it'll be fun. She's got a little float, so she can just splash around in it for a bit. Or we'll just have a bath instead. In the huge bath. Mia. <laughs> this is the life. A cup of coffee in the afternoon and some homemade banana bread. Mm. Happy little Mia, who's off to find daddy. The next day, Mr. Seat Brother Postman delivers the toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat, says Fatima. Don't worry, your mommy and dad will build it for you, says Mr. Sepper. Over to Chef Ingemar, and mommy is going to cuddle up. Oh, with Mia? We're going to read books. Maybe not. Let's go and play. Peppa and George's bedtime. Goodness Christ, mommy pig. Why are all these toys on your bed? Dinner is served. So Mia is already tucking into her burger. We've got a salad and some delicious meat that Ingemar has just cooked. So cheers! Okay, this strange thing is a bath bomb. <laughs> I only had one left because we don't have a bath. We never use the bath. I thought I will bring it along and we'll just bash it and use it for different baths over the weekend. So Ingemar has very graciously made a bath for him and Mia because he deserves the treats. <laughs> I'll join afterwards and here we go. Oh, lovely. I miss this so much. <gasps> mm. Right, Mia's in the bath. I won't obviously show you that, but I'm gonna go and blow some bubbles in the bathtub with her and I'll take these over for when she's finished. Good night, everyone. Night, night, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> night, night, Mia. Mia Lula. <laughs> morning. Good morning, Mia. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Have you got enough pillows? Mm. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. It's a lovely, beautiful, sunny day. We've had quite a slow morning, nice and chilled. We had a nice breakfast and then Mia played and we just kind of chilled out and watched her and it was really lovely. So now we, I think it's about 10 o'clock, we are going to hit the road and go and take you on a little tour of the Golden Circle. And we've got some friends joining us this evening. They've got an apartment over from us. And so we will have some company and dinner with them. And she, they're also bringing their toddler. So Mia will have her little buddy here, which will be super cute to see. Okay, so I've changed up to this hat. This is the new hat from Mjuk, Iceland. I'm just gonna keep my head cozy because I've got a little bit of a headache and I think that it's more of a, like a sinusy thing. But anyway, my coffee hero. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, nice. Illy. Geezer. This is the car park over here is completely empty compared to what it's normally like. We're all cozy together, a little family outing. This way, so we'll walk over and show you. Hopefully, it erupting for us. Pretty amazing to 
have it all to yourself almost. It is so windy though, I hope you can hear me. Max, this is gonna be so exciting. The water is just gonna go out of the ground, up into the sky, and you're gonna go wee! Go! Monks just want to feel, woo! Just like that, woohoo! So cool. Yay! What did you think, Mia? Did you see what it did? It did a little one as well. Gosh, pardon you. Plus this quiet. That's amazing, isn't it? There's nobody here. What, six people? Seven people? Plus these two? Yay! It is beautiful. We've not been here for years. And this is the first time that Mia has ever been here. Check out that rainbow. That is so cool. Wow! We're literally standing at the pot of gold. <gasps> we should start digging. The last few times that we were here, there were cars parked all the way up the road there. And look at it now. This is successful social distancing. That's amazing. It is so quiet here. So we parked in the lower car park. We're gonna go up to the upper level now. Um, and take a little walk along there because as you can probably tell the waterfall has a lot of off spray off whatever it's called so the camera's getting wet we're getting wet and it's not great for Mia so we're gonna go up the top which is where Ingemar and I took one of our first pictures together right we're on the upper level car park of Gilfoss right now and uh, Ingemar just wanting to kind of chat and talk about how quiet it is and that the only people here are fellow residents in Iceland who, who are mostly just Polish, we've heard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is our isolation staycation. We're very, very lucky that we can actually do this. We completely appreciate that we're not in lockdown. We're kind of in lesser restrictions than we were a week or two ago anyway so we we're very lucky to be able to get to do this but it is also highlighting how scary a situation we are in with complete not even lack of tourism just zero tourism and how much this country does depend on tourism um, and it's it's really scary how quiet these sites that would be normally absolutely jam-packed with car parks full and people parking on the sides of the road as well. We draw up to Geysir and like Sun said the car parks there are usually full hard to get a spot we park next to the door um, there were maybe seven other cars in the parking lot yeah we walked up to Geysir and there were like 20 people there. Geysir performed for us yeah Mia saw it for the first time yeah quite nice yep very nice very nice then we draw off and up to Goodfoss there were three cars in the parking lot so yeah the car parks are empty tourist shops are empty the restaurants are empty there is nothing going on this wouldn't have been that unusual 20 years ago today this is anomaly this is clear a sign of the recession we're going going to be going through it's complete lack of people here Mm. We would probably have been, it would have been between five and six hundred people here at least. Yeah, probably, yeah. Even more. Easily. And the traffic is very normal Icelandic traffic, people yeah. just speeding, <laughs> no tourists on the road. But there is nobody no on buses. the road really. Just, my heart goes out to the people in the industry because this is just... Yeah, it's really scary. Such an awful event. But for now, we're gonna take advantage of it and go and see these sites when they're nice and quiet and we can safely distance from people and enjoy them. 
and kind of enjoy our isolation staycation. So hopefully you are enjoying seeing a bit of Iceland or revisiting Iceland with us. Little Mia, stretching your legs. Little monster. Yay! We are scaling the heights of Iceland. Oh, it's so windy. <laughs> it's not too cold though. This is alright here. just arrived in Legavad, which is where Ingemar went to university to study sports science and this is the university building. They moved the facilities to Reykjavik a few years back and this was the dormitory here on the left and behind us uh, is the actual school itself and here I had the best three years of my life before I met you Sonia. There you go, a little trip down memory lane for you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's Fontana at the bottom. Where I went with my sister and it was really, really nice. So if you are passing and you want an alternative to the Blue Lagoon, which it's not similar, but it is really nice. It's just hidden down there. And you can see the steam from the hot water, the geothermal water on the beach there. Okay, I'm gonna give you a proper tour now. I'm gonna go through to the hot tub area because I think it's quite quiet at the moment and show you around. Here is the glorious hot tub. Oh, doesn't it look fab? Can't wait to go in there. Oh, that feels so nice and warm. Oh, yes. That is gonna be lush for this afternoon or evening time. Look at that sneaky girl escaping. Are you running away? Well, we've just spent the last hour or two chatting and catching up with our mates. We're going to head into Quirigiri town and have some pizza all together now. Hire a translator to help us find the restaurant. <laughs> Woo! Mia! Mia! No, oh, she's just staring at her buddy. The little ears. <laughs> Ooh, look at all these drawings. This is fab. Um, a dog. Okay. Buddy. Ooh, there's his tongue. His big ears. <laughs> Not very good at this. Woof. Yeah, exactly. Woof woof! That's not brilliant, but an LD. And a mouth. There we go. Whee! This is really clever. They've put the cactuses on the table here to make sure that there's two meter distance between everyone. Delicious. Mm. We're all dressed and we're going off for a spa. Yeah, concentrate. <sighs> Come on then. You just these days take the buggy for a walk. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. You can do it. Yay! <laughs> Is Daddy having fun? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I shall end the vlog here because we're just going to get in the car, drive back to Reykjavik now and hopefully I'm going to get some shut eye on the way. But it's been such a lovely escape weekend and we're really, really grateful to any apartment, boutique apartments because they are beautiful for the stay so thank you very much please make sure that you check out their website and their instagram as well 
get a little nosy around and hopefully you'll see some of my drawings of their apartments on their website and Instagram soon. See you next vlog. Bye guys. <laughs> How random is she? Oh dear Mia. <laughs> All of us were searching for these. And of course we leave in the rain. Bye bye holiday house. Bye bye.